Hello, good day viewers. Uh, welcome to another biology presentation. So in this presentation, I want us to answer this simple question. So we can see the structure that we are presented with. That is labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. We also have the parts that are being named. We have the lungs right here. We have the parts labeled uh, rhinox right here. We also have the the part labeled G down here. So let us now look at the question. Identify the parts labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So when you look at the part labeled A, what is the name of this part labeled A? So the part labeled A is called the nozzle cavity. Okay. Then the part labeled B, this is called the windpipe or the trachea. Then the part labeled C right here, these are called the bronchi. Okay. Then the part labeled D right here, this part labeled D, this is called the pharynx. Then the part labeled E, these are the bronchioles. Okay. Then the part labeled F. So at the end of the bronchioles, that's where we have this part labeled F, which is going to be formed. So the part labeled F is called the uh, alveoli. Okay. Then the part labeled G, which is down here, we can see this is a muscle. Okay. So this one, it is called the diaphragm. So this is the answer to part uh, one. So the nozzle, uh, it performs a function whereby it makes sure that it warms and uh, humidifies the air that we're breathing. It also protects the delicate lung tissues. Apart from that, it also ensures that it filters the air because it is lined with the mucus and the cilia. So the mucus and the cilia, they help to trap the dust, the pollen, and other particles, preventing them from reaching the water, the lungs. Apart from that, the same nozzle right here, this one, it allows us to be able to, uh, to have the sense of smell, okay? Because the nozzle, it contains what we call the olfactory receptors, and they allow us to be able to perceive water odor. Then, the part body C right here, we said these are the bronchi, okay? And the bronchi, they also perform uh, a similar function. They are, they are the main ways that conduct air from the trachea to the lungs, okay? They also uh, protect the, the cells. They, they, they trap and remove the foreign particles and pathogens, okay? Then we have the part which is called B, which is uh, the trachea, okay? So the trachea, as you can see, we said this trachea is also called the windpipe okay the trachea is called the windpipe so what is the function of this uh, trachea a trachea performs uh, uh, main functions such as it acts as a passage okay or its primary function first of all is to provide a clear passage where for air to travel between the larynx so the larynx like i've said is this one here okay which is uh, the voice box so air passages will be uh, passing through between the larynx, the voice box, and the OT, and the lungs. Okay. Apart from that, the same trachea, it also helps for protection because it also has uh, mucus and uh, the cilia. Okay. So this mucus, like I've said, it helps uh, to trap foreign particles like dust, the pollen, and the bacteria, while the cilia sweeps those particles upward toward the throat and they can be coughed out or swallowed. So these are some of the functions of these parts. So let us now move on to another question. So here is our second question. State the functions of the part labeled B and F. So B is uh, the trachea. So this one I've said the main function of the trachea is to ensure efficient and safe breathing by providing a clear airway, protecting the lungs from harmful particles and conditioning the air before it reaches the, the lungs. So this is the main function of the water, of the trachea, which is also called the, the windpipe. So what about the part labeled F? So the part labeled F, what is its function? So this part labeled F, like I've said, these are the, these are the, this is the alveoli, okay? And the alveoli, we are saying, these are the tiny balloon-shaped air sacs that are located at the end of these uh, bronchioles, as you can see here. The alveoli are being formed. Okay? 
So these are located at the end of the bronchioles, like I've said, that are found in the lungs. So what is the main role that is played by these uh, alveoli? Their main role is just in gas exchange, okay? Which is just the process of transferring oxygen from the air into the bloodstream and removing carbon dioxide from the bloodstream into the what? Into the air. So you can see that um, it has a many function that it performs. So apart from that, in simple terms, you can write our answer to say, the alveoli, these are just the primary sites of gas exchange in the lungs, ensuring that our body receives the oxygen it needs and eliminates the carbon dioxide it produces. So you can write our answer as the function of F, which is the alveoli, ensures that the body receives the oxygen it needs and eliminates the carbon dioxide it produces. Okay, so we have answered our question two. So we've come to the end of our presentation. Thank you so much, everybody, for having time to view this content. This has been your presenter, Mr. Mlenga. Bye-bye.